Welcome to the Statistic NDD YouTube channel. Today we want to see how we can detect hidden correlations in R using simple linear models. In the previous video I showed you how to detect spurious correlations and I feel that spurious correlations are probably better known than hidden correlations. So we looked at the probably most famous example of the relationship between stalks and babies. You can check that out. Um, I feel that Hidden correlations can be just as challenging and just as important to have in mind. So let's look at an example. We will talk about study success of students in terms of scores in, in an exam and how it is linked to the amount of hours they put into their studies. So we we'll create a simple linear model predicting score using study hours. And we look at the result and we see there's no association. The p-value of study hours is far from significant, so there's no effect. Of course, this is counterintuitive and it would be very discouraging for students to know that it doesn't matter how many hours they put into their studies, it doesn't influence their result. So now I could just react quickly and throw my data away and say it, it's not worth anything, apparently. But before I do that, I'd rather look if I can find an explanation for this surprising result. So as it turns out, um, alcohol consumption of students was also recorded and now this is not just general alcohol consumption but specifically alcohol consumption during preparation time for an exam. So let's see what effect that has and now not very surprisingly we have a significantly negative effect so the more alcohol students consumed during preparation for the exam um, the fewer points they got in this exam. Okay so far so clear but the more important part and the more interesting part is now to create a combined model that predicts score from both study hours and alcohol consumption. And we'll do that and we can look at the result here. So if you want to have a go at interpreting this, um, you can stop the video now and, and try for yourself and think about it a little bit. All right. Um, so let's look at the results. We still have a significantly negative effect of alcohol consumption, but now um, the more striking result, I think, is that now the effect of study hours is significant and it is positive, as we would have expected. So, only after controlling for alcohol consumption, we see that study hours do have a significantly positive effect on the score in an exam. So, um, the best way to test this would be to create an experiment where we can explicitly control alcohol consumption, like not allowing students to consume alcohol or maybe keep the, the amount constant or maybe create two groups, one that drinks alcohol and then one that doesn't drink. But in real world data analysis often we don't have the chance to create experiments. So we need a way of controlling for effects after the data has already been collected. And this is uh, what this control variable does. So here we see the effect of study hours while keeping the amount of alcohol consumed constant and only then we see that study hours does have a positive effect. I hope this was an example that makes sense to you. Um, I'm keen to hear your examples. Maybe you found similar um, relationships, hidden correlations, so leave a comment. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps. Thank you, all the best and see you next time.